Hello my soccer universe and yes this is my soccer universe and that's why I'm talking about the Lusk coach being relieved in a video which I know will probably not get too many views but since my soccer universe I wanted to give my thoughts even to my English speaking audience to my English speaking audience here as well since it's the team that I follow most closely. I hinted it in my review video and I'm doing this. I was actually preparing the one for France and the Netherlands which will come out a little bit later. I was um, preparing this one and then the news came over uh, yesterday already during the game. The coach who had been in the majority of the fan base already not very well received in let's say starting at the championship round last season when the results started to dip. He had a great fall in 2020 but as soon as 21 hit things did not go right with Lusk and you can tell that some things that you could with injuries you could excuse yourself for a while but the fact that injuries keep on piling that speaks for me against the coaching and that's why I'm not sure that the current coaching um, appointment is not the right one and I think where he really lost it is when uh, he basically fired his assistant coach for defense and you know we have this uh, he came up with this great concept and they trying trying to keep it to have one head coach who's also a sporting director and then you know have for, for offense, defense, uh, special teams have some uh, dedicated coaches for that concept which probably is not a bad stuff but uh, it's very new in Austria and then him additionally coming directly from the Austrian ladies team uh, already put him a little bit too much on thin ice and I thought that Lask might actually see it out with him for another season because everyone agrees in the um, I don't want to say educated, but you know, every kind of uh, soccer nerd sees that he, uh, Coach Talhammer is a real expert in soccer and he has actually been the head of the Austrian coaching edu 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 education in addition. So he is an absolute um, great, uh, he's very knowledgeable, however it didn't work out for him. Uh, and I think firing this coach who was very popular with players was the first one. Then the second one, I think James Holland, who, you know, had an on and off, didn't go well with the coach because he was clearly, uh, he was, uh, James Holland, I think, was either a co-captain or, you know, a very important figure in Lusk. He was also very, very, very close to Pogatetz, who was the uh, assistant coach. And I think from that moment on, it just, you could feel something's not clicking with the team. And I hinted already in my review video of Austrian Germany, although I didn't want to talk much about Lusk, um, something's not quite working. And they reacted. Now, as I said, I'm not so sure that the assistant coach, uh, one of the assistant coaches is now made the head coach until the winter, uh, until they find a new, uh, pers uh, a new person, because um, he, assistant coach he has been there and I think he has been trying to become coach anyway for quite a while already because he was already under Ismail I think the um, assistant coach and tried to get the players on his side there as well so I don't know it seems to be something a little bit rotten in the team I have the feeling and this is how I will end it I remember in 2014 we got promoted from the amateur leagues back into the second Bundesliga under a coach who were already coaches were very popular with the fans, Karl Daxbacher. Um, but then immediately everyone kind of expected we should become first, which was a little bit too much and the results didn't come. And uh, it also, also felt that his system is very antiquated and so on, it doesn't fit. They unceremoniously fired him. Uh, and then I think it was a year, year and a half where it was rather rough sailing until we hired Oliver Glasner. And that was then the point where things got better. Uh, and I think a similar period is coming now where I am not sure if Lusk should make the uh, championship round. However, it might be a tough ask. So you basically have to... I, I'm prepared even despite playing on the conference league and maybe even uh, succeeding there I am prepared that it will be a tougher time coming for Lusk now but hey I'm ready for a surprise
in any case, uh, had you any coaching changes at your favorite 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 team recently? We're just although you, I personally liked like like coach. I even I met him. He sent his kids to the same school as my <laughs> daughters are, are not going. So I personally, I always thought he's a very like 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 a guy that is very smart. He's maybe too brainy for the general fan here. That I think is maybe the main problem. That's why I personally like like him. I, I'm a little bit sad to see him go, but I also saw already now. That the, his com the, the, the communication, how aggressive he presented himself this season to the media, and the actual results on the pitch doesn't fit together. Something's wrong, and a, a change had to happen. Uh, something's wrong within Lusk lately. I think the last year has been rough. I think the head honchos need to bang it out and figure it out. In any case. Drop a line below if anything like that happened at your team. Uh, as of late, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any thoughts on Lask in general, also feel free to drop a line below and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.